Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm gonna talk about how to figure out if a wildfire is affecting your hike or proposed hike. Um, a lot of times you'll hear about a wildfire on TV or in the news and you're not really sure where it is. Is it gonna be on your trails? Are you gonna be smoked out? Whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna show you some quick, quick ways I figure out whether my trails are closed and I'll show you in detail how to overlay fire information onto a trail map so you can see, is there gonna be smoke on the hike? Are these trails destroyed? All of that fun stuff. Uh, I also have a corresponding article and there's a link to that right underneath the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube that explains to you how to prepare yourself uh, in case you encounter a wildfire, what to do if you encounter a wildfire out on the trail and how to uh, potentially deal with that situation. So make sure you check that out too. I'm not gonna talk to you about that because I can't actually demonstrate those things. I'm not gonna go hike in a wildfire uh, and I'm not gonna just talk to you on camera. You can read it for yourself. But otherwise, let's dive into checking on whether a wildfire is affecting your hike or not. Okay, so let's say we've heard about a fire. In this case, it's the Apple Fire and it's in California. I've heard about it. I know it's not good. I can see this picture, but I don't know where it is or if it's going to affect my hike or the trails that I plan on hiking on. So the first place we want to go is to a website called InsaWeb. Uh, this is run by the Forest Service and it's actually uh, draws upon data from a few different agencies. And the idea here is that they're going to track any kind of large natural disaster like a forest fire, earthquake, tsunami, um, the site used to be a little bare, it used to be a little slow to update, but it has gotten much better in recent days. You can browse around the map and then hover. If you know the name of the fire or the incident, you can also just do that and you can see, boom, Apple fire, it comes up. Uh, it gives me some high, high, uh, high level information here, but we're gonna do this go to incident. And here it's gonna give me uh, more information on what's going on, what's closed, what's not closed. The important place to go is to this closures tab. And you can see here there's evacuation and then there's the wilderness area closure. And if I click here, boom, there we go. I can see that a lot of these trails that maybe I'll be hiking on are closed. Uh, the important thing to note is that even though uh, this fire is not, let me get this off so you can see the area of the fire. This is where the fire is. Um, some of those trails that were listed are way back here. So even though the fire isn't actually on my trail, it's still um, affecting trails that are in this whole wilderness area. So don't assume that if the fire is not directly in the path of your hike, that your hike will not be um, closed to the public. So you can see this is all closed. Now, smaller fires are not gonna be on here, usually not, in which case you're gonna wanna check with the um, local fire website or incident reporting website for the state or for the county or for the municipality. Uh, here you can see Cal Fire has one. They actually have the Apple Fire on here as well and have some information about it. So that's how I find out about the fire, where it is, get some general information and get some information about the closures. Now, the closures aren't always on here, at least not right away. So the next thing I do is I look at the Twitter uh, page for the wilderness area. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here I am on the Twitter page. Now I, I found, and this is just anecdotal, but I found that Twitter is usually the most up-to-date uh, place to get information on closures. They usually show up on Twitter before they show up anywhere else. Here you can see there's Apple Fire updates, which is really good. They're pointing me to the um, InsaWeb website. And if you scroll down here, you could see remains closed. They're telling me about it. The PCT is closed. So there's all kinds of information on the Twitter feed telling me uh, that the hike is closed. So in this case, I know the fire has affected my hike. Now we can also look at the wildfire in detail using some uh, free tools. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I am on a website called caltopo.com and, uh, it's a really powerful mapping tool. Uh, SARS teams use it. I use it all the time for planning hikes, hikes for analyzing hikes. It's great for a variety of things. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the area where we know the fire is. And here you can see San Bernardino National Forest, San Gorgonio Mountain. And then we're gonna click on this called fire activity. And you can drill down in here and choose different 
sources. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I usually do them all together. And here we can see where the fire is in relation to uh, the area we just had. Now, one of the cool things we can do here is we can stack other layers on here. So what I like to do with fires is I'll take a daily satellite image and I will overlay it. Let's up the opacity. You can see the smoke. If I zoom out a little bit, give it a second to load. The smoke is going to the east, so the fire will likely go to the east. Um, and I've been checking this fire over the last few days. The smoke has shifted different ways and it generally pushes the fire around in the direction of the wind. So pretty cool tool. Now, and you can overlay it like that so you can see specifically where the smoke is. So if you plan on hiking down here, like maybe in Joshua Tree, it's probably gonna be a very smoky and not so fun day to hike there. So another thing to consider when you are planning your hike, even if there's not a forest fire there, you're gonna have a pretty smoky time. Your lungs will be suffering. Now, one of the other things I like to do with Caltopo is I will look at a hiking map, like a trail map. And I'm using the map builder topo layer right here. And on this, in this case, I'm gonna zoom in. So I've zoomed in and I can see that the footprint of the fire here goes over some of the trails. You can see that these trails will probably not be in business for quite some time. Um, and you can see how the fire is spreading and where the impact is. So pretty cool way to check directly how a wildfire might impact your hike or future hikes, potential future hikes. You can also look at this checkbox called fire activity and it will give you historic fires here. That's what I do, powerful tool. Uh, you should obviously never hike in a forest fire or close to a forest fire, better to stay away. Let the professionals do their work of containing it and putting it out. But uh, these are some neat tools you can use to track the fire and see what the impact is on you as a hiker and on the trails. So that's it, pretty straightforward, pretty powerful tools, pretty simple tools that you can use to prepare and know all about a wildfire before you hit the trail. Now, if you wanna know what to do if you actually see a wildfire while you're hiking, just go to hikingguy.com where I have a whole article that tells you how to read a fire, what to do to evacuate, and tools you can use, uh, and preparations you can do beforehand to make that a little bit easier. So make sure you check that out as well. And if you did find this uh, video helpful, if you could give me a little thumbs up, that will help other people find the video, hopefully hike safely, avoid wildfires, and have fun in the outdoors uh, without getting hurt. All right, guys, I'll see you out there.